Welcome to Castle Game Day, week four. Playing on a Tuesday, because the game's on Thursday. This is Dylan Rice, as usual. Rams virtually shut out the fans of Lasser, led by Tristan Bears, five receptions for 158 yards and four touchdowns. This week, the fifth-ranked 3-0 Rams go on to face the Oak Ridge Trojans. Oak Ridge, a team that was just in Sackby's top 20, have slipped to an 0-3 record. It's do or die for them, and for the Rams' case, we're going to put them in the grave. So key questions for tonight. Will Rams be able to finish road trip 3-0? Two, how will Rams shut down the explosive receivers of Oak Ridge? And finally, Thursday night football? Rams playing a day earlier than usual. Will they be able to be mentally focused for tonight's game? Well, Lawrence, playing on Thursday is a lot tougher. Gives you one less day to prepare. Also, the Oak Ridge Trojans have a nationally ranked recruit and wide receiver Brett Thompson. Now, he does have less yards than our leading receiver, Tristan Bear, and it could be an issue of the quarterback not getting him the ball. It's important that the D-line can get to the quarterback this week to prevent him from tossing it up every down. Also, it's key that the DBs can hold him at the line, like senior Corey Aubrey. That's right. Corey Aubrey is this week's player profile, done by Michael Wright. Here we go. Player profile. What is your dream play? Definitely be uh, catching the ball in the opposite end zone. Maybe 109 yard touchdown return. Taking it back to win the game. Definitely. Eighth grade year, you went out for Junior Vikings and got cut. Now you're a senior starting corner. Did that motivate you in any way, getting cut? Yeah, I came out freshman year. See if I can make my, the football team for the first time. Came out, worked really hard, you know, and, then, and uh, Went out my first game, didn't start though, but got my starting position in the first game. So, yeah, it didn't motivate me. Two weeks ago against Vista de Lago, you got your first interception for a touchdown. What was going through your mind? Well, first of all, I got to give props to Clint Roberts because he tipped it up to me. And I just happened to be there and catch the ball. But as I was running, it didn't feel like I was running too fast, so, you know, I was trying to keep it going. But, uh, yeah, as soon as I got in the end zone, it just, I just couldn't really believe it at first because it was my first touchdown, so it felt good. What do you have to do this week against Oak Ridge in order for Castro to win? Well, all the DBs like Devin Johnson, Kyle Murray, uh, Scott Palano, and all them, Clint Roberts, we all got to shut down uh, Brett Thompson, which is the top uh, receiver, one of the top recruits for the area. But we got, if we just do our assignments and everything, I think we can do it. What do you think the outcome of the game will be? I think it's going to be us over them 35-7. to 7.